Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. This one was sent in from a loyal subscriber as well. We have indefinite integral of x plus the square root of x plus 1 all over x plus 2 dx. As a hint, you're going to use another rationalizing substitution. And I solved this one twice. The easiest way to do it is to actually split this into two integrals so you only do the substitution on the second one. Okay, but give it a go, do what you wanna do. So on that note, when I get started, I'm gonna break this up into x over x plus two plus square root x plus one over x plus two dx, and then solve them one at a time. Why this is better is because then you only need to apply the rationalizing substitution to the second term, not the entire integrand, and it then you can avoid doing long division later in the process, okay? And we, we always love avoiding long division, don't we? So this is integral one, and this is gonna be integral two. So let's write them out properly. So integral one is x over x plus two dx. Now again, when the degree of the numerator and denominator are equal, then you need to long divide. Actually, anytime the degree of the denominator isn't higher, we long divide before we try to do something else. But I can avoid it in this case because I can just sneakily come in here and do plus two minus two and then be on my merry little way in just a moment. So we have x plus two over x plus two minus two over x plus two. Beautiful, don't forget that dx. So then now our integral simplifies to just one minus two over x plus two dx. And this is the exact same result you would have um, obtained had you sat there and just done long division for x over x plus two. But look, look how speedy we were. Okay, from here we can integrate, no big deal. Antiderivative of one is x minus two ln absolute value x plus two, and I'm gonna say plus c1, because this is just my first little baby integral of two. Okay, now for the second one, we're gonna use the rationalizing substitution that I showed you guys in a previous video. So we have square root x plus one over x plus two dx. I'm gonna go ahead, you could let u, but I was feeling like, let's let it be t today, you know? t be the square root of x plus one. Before you differentiate both sides, square it. It will make life so much easier. So t squared is x plus one. Then two t dt is dx. Beautiful. So then look, t is rad x plus one. So that's gonna go up there. dx, dx is all of this, two t dt, that's right here. Then I need x plus two. So how do I get x by itself right there? x is t squared minus one. So that's what I'm gonna sub in right there, t squared minus one. Are you ready? Here we go. So my integral becomes t over t squared minus one plus two, and so then instead of dx, we have two t dt. Now clean it up, so this is gonna be two t squared dt over t squared plus one. Uh-oh, do we have to long divide again? No, we don't, I'll show you a way out of it. Take the two out of the numerator, and then you have t squared over t squared plus one dt. So you always wanna try to match the denominator, so I'm gonna add one, and then to make sure I just didn't willy-nilly start adding ones into a problem illegally, I'm gonna subtract one at the same time. Good, so then we have two times the integral, t squared plus one over t squared plus one minus one over t squared plus one dt, and then this gives us two times the integral, one minus one over t squared plus one dt. So then this gives us two, antiderivative of one is t, minus two, that's gonna be tan inverse of t plus c2. And then remember, originally t was equal to the square root of x plus one, so let's sub that back in. So this is two times the square root of x plus one minus two 
tan inverse square root x plus 1 plus c2. Good, you guys. So then put it all together. All together now. From the first integral, what did we have? Where was it? x minus 2 ln absolute value x plus 1 plus 2 square root x plus 1 minus 2 tan inverse square root x plus 1 plus c and then you got to tell the people c is c1 plus c2 sorry this 2 is too ugly fix it good oh it's so nice now i have a confession i didn't do it the first way um this slick no the first time i went for the rationalizing substitution immediately in the whole integrand and then there i was doing long division and i was like oh no this didn't need to happen had i started off the problem a little better so then when i redid it it took you know much less time and i was thinking Ugh, i have to point this out to the people who watch so i hope you enjoyed the integral did you solve it on your own it was just you, Sub. A Calc 1 student could have done this, you know? So that's great. Thank you for sending in the integral. And keep them coming. If you guys have requests, then you can just email me, mathwithprofessorv at gmail.com. Sometimes I get into, like, random busy streaks because I still teach full-time, you know. So if, if I don't respond immediately or record it, don't get your feelings hurt. But right now, my, you know, the workload has lightened up a wee bit, thankfully. That's it. If you need to review any integration techniques, you need video lectures for Calc 1, 2, 3, or linear algebra, differential equations, check out the playlist all on my YouTube channel. It's very organized. And you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. I love you guys so much. I'll be back sooner than later. Did I say like and subscribe? Okay, do it. Bye.